This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News with the 2012 DAS in Action event with Matt Mellister, who's Senior VP of Comscope's uh, Distributed Coverage and Capacity Business Unit. Matt, thanks for joining us today. Certainly. Matt, you've got a new product here. Can you tell us a little bit about it and some of the unique features that it offers? Yes, this is our intelligent point of interface product. What it does is it provides a bridge between the base station and the DAS system. So, you know, we have to interface with a variety of different OEMs, the different technologies, different frequency bands, and some of the interfaces differ. And we, to keep the DAS interface standard, uh, we use this device to bridge between that. Uh, what it does is the power levels come out of the base station, come out at extremely high levels, and what we need to feed an optical distributed system is very low levels. So one of the functions in this is that it just basically takes and reduces the power and dissipates that power off. Uh, that has been traditionally done in, in equipment rooms with uh, directional couplers and, and large terminations and they take up an enormous amount of space. Uh, they also tend to be kludged together with other various components from various suppliers and so PIM has become a, a real issue with that, being able to control that since they're coming from different suppliers. The other aspect is, is those are unintelligent. What we've done is taken some of the intelligent we have today in our what we call our TPOI card that does power management and gives you ability to adjust and control levels. But the power management is critical in a multi-operator solution because we want to make sure that each operator only gets their allocated power. And so what the IPOI does is if any, uh, uh, we set levels so you can designate what percentage of the power goes to which operator, to which technology, and if in any reason they change their input levels, the system will reach, r ratchet their signal back down to only their allocated power levels, send an alarm so we know that that has happened. It also gives you visibility into the input levels coming in from the base station, the output levels that are going to the DAS in both the downlink and uplink direction. And all that information is available through a network management interface, uh, or through the front panel display here that you can see a color display. Why don't you show us the unit and uh, tell us a little bit about what, I mean, it's a small right. configuration. This is, this is basically one sector for a particular technology. And so there's a several different versions for the same device. It goes into a, a rack which can accommodate up to eight of these devices in one rack. And so that's eight sectors worth in a four height unit rack. Uh, com when you compare that to a discrete implementation, you can save up to 75% of the space, plus adding all the automated features. The other feature that I failed to mention is inside this, we have also a, a test signal generator. So to facilitate testing of the system without having to have a spectrum analyzer, we can dial up a, a CW test tone, put it anywhere in the band, and even including <laughs> outside the band to generate a test signal for you know, for preliminary commissioning of the system if, in the event that the base station isn't there. Matt, thanks for your time today. All right, thank you.